Hey everyone, I just want to show you this refrigerator compressor. So now you can also call these a fridge motor, people call them. Uh, now this one was actually out of a dehumidifier. This compressor here and the, the dehumidifier was not, had no gas in it. So just to let you know, I don't just cut off lines and let the uh, gas go into the air. What I've done here is I've just taken a grinder and I've cut the actual weld here. So all the way around. So I just taken the uh, a cutoff wheel and just gone around here and cut it open. Now I don't re recommend doing this. Uh, there is oil inside of it, so uh, be very careful. But I'm just gonna pop off the lid here so you can see how it was just welded on the on the seam here. And now you can see inside of the compressor. And you can see here the whole thing is actually on springs so the compressor and motor is completely isolated on springs so that's why you hear that noise when you rock the fridge around it's like that, that clanging sound and so you can see here the, the springs that that actually keep this thing um, isolated so you can see that it's just a one cylinder compressor Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the actual motor out of this. I'm just going to bend these tabs up so I can actually pull the, the motor out. Take this out here. Pop this out. Pull this line back so we can actually get the compressor out. Now these springs are going to have to come out as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to. So I've moved in from outside and now. I've just taken the compressor out of the actual housing and we'll just take a look at that. So there it is and just take a close look at it. It's a one cylinder compressor so you can see here and let's see and you can see it's just a it's just basically an induction motor. There's the rotor of the motor and here's the field windings and the stator there's the stator oh and as you can see right there it's, it's general electric that's who made that and so it's a pretty interesting unit here there's the cylinder head and the top of the crankshaft so i've taken the head bolts out and i'm just going to pull off this piece here actual head and then in here it looks like this is the reeds um, and we'll look in there yep yeah, so you can see the reed in there for the compressor and then you can look at the top of the piston and there's the cylinder so there's our stroke it's about half an inch a little more than that and so you can see it just has a a very small piston and it's all iron now to convert this I would have to uh, do some modifications so we'll take a look at the housing there's inside uh, nice and no rust in there because it was all uh, in oil and sealed and you can see uh, this line went into the top of the of the compressor and this this line here is just into the body of the, the housing here. And there's our electrical connections, which is just a plug and it just plugs into there. So there isn't really that much to it. Here's another line on this side that, that goes in there. So that's the housing and you can see the top 
It's pretty heavy metal. This this top here has some weight to it. So the reason why I took this thing apart is because I had a crazy idea to MacGyver one of these into a steam generator. And the only reason is because you have the, the cylinder, you have the, the one cylinder compressor here. And you also have the induction motor as well in one unit. So if this could be converted uh, then in, to run on steam, then this induction motor here could be attached to some capacitors and it might actually uh, work as a generator if I can get the right RPMs out of it. Or the rotor could be modified and some magnets could be put onto this rotor and then that would work at variable RPM. So you wouldn't have to run the motor at a constant, uh, let's say, 18 or 2,000 RPMs. The motor could run at any RPMs uh, if, if I did that. Now, to convert it to steam, of course, the only problem is that this is cast iron. So another problem is lubrication. And how this compressor worked was the oil was drawn up through this tube. You can actually see right through here um, it's hollow all the way up to the top so basically that was the oil pump the oil was drawn up through here and then it comes out the top here that's what this hole is on the top um, and the oil would then come out and spray and cover this whole thing and the oil would then go down over the um, over the crankshaft and we get into the cylinder um, you know, into the bearings here, down through this bearing, and and all over these these field coils here. So that would also cool the the field coils as well. So the motor was totally immersed, basically not immersed, but there would be oil in the bottom of the compressor, and then it draws it up, and the oil comes over and, and lubricates this. So it has its own oil pump. Now, to convert this to a steam generator, then this. Mo this engine here would be open. There'd be no lubrication on the actual crankshaft. So the uh, connecting rod bearings here would be dry, plus the the uh, wrist pin bearing. So it's not going to work very well uh, unless it's in its enclosure. So this thing here would have to be put back into its enclosure because it wouldn't have a way of lubrication um, unless you designed a, uh, an oil link system for it, which could run off of the, uh, the crankshaft or off the drive shaft. So now if you have no use for this thing, uh, you could always turn it into an instrument and listen to it sound. Sounds pretty good. So that was just a MacGyver idea to try to convert it to a steam generator because it's all in one unit. It's very compact. Um, I don't know if this has been done before. I have no idea. I don't even know if it's possible. So yeah, I might not ever try to get this thing to work as a MacGyver steam generator or whatever. Uh, I have a few ideas actually other than that, but if someone out there thinks it's a good idea, um, then uh, try to try to put this thing together and, and I'd like to see a video or, or a response uh, to, to my video and, and it would be interesting to see if it would actually work. So that was just a video on uh, an idea I had for a Freon compressor conversion and thank you for watching.